I have to get the files out. I don't. I don't have it on this device. What hard drive is it on? It's on my other files on my other uh, laptop. Maybe this is an accurate map. What do you think of that one? <laughs> yeah, Middle Earth. Yeah. That's I mean, a good that's movie, actually Lord of the Rings. That's as accurate as, as any flat Earth map I've ever seen. Um, I mean, well, that's. Uh, hey, that's hey, I'll, that's more accurate than like, the globe. The globe they. You know. I, actually, just. That nobody's ever shown the globe to be wrong, but this one might be actually a little more accurate than that last one. I actually had this one hanging up um, on my wall for a while. Right. I did. Did you know that? Who Who else in the chat? Who else had this one? Uh, all right. Uh, Caucasian sensation says Dion, your authority on Babel only exists. With your insistence on babbling. The authority on Babel, is he referring to the uh, the Tower of Babel? I think he's doing a play on words. Your authority on Babel only exists through your insistence of babbling. Yes. I mean, because I'm questioning all this propaganda? No, I, mean, I think it's because, because you're babbling. But I'm babbling truth, though. That's the thing. You've got I'm Hung, speaking truth. Hung, Hung Sing Kwan USA is is one of your big fans, apparently. Who's that? Who is who is Hung Sing Kwan USA? Oh, Hung Sing Kwan? I, I have... Uh, that's a... Uh, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Uh, wait, wait a minute. I think I do know who that is. Allie's wondering, where am I? I am, I'm camping. I'm at a town near where the campground is. I'm not going to say where. Oh, Hung Sing Kwan. That's, uh, that's a fake uh, Kung Fu master. Ah. Uh, PJ CNET's wondering if I've ever encountered any B Bigfoots while camping. Um, I got some big feet. And I want to. Uh, here's another thing too. Like they fabric uh, fabricate a lot on the globe. Like perfect Thanks. example, right? You have on the globe that the continent Africa, or the country Africa, uh, is the smallest uh, continent on the globe. Wait, that's completely th false. You're saying that the country of Africa is the smallest continent on the globe? Or I mean, the, I meant the continent. Africa is actually one of the biggest continents on the globe. It's not the smallest, but what do they uh, put that on the globe? They put it as the smallest. And you believe the globe? People don't realize how big Africa actually is. It's one of the biggest uh, continents look. on the earth. Let's have a look here. Let's, let's, let's see. But they project it on the globe as this, this small continent. There, there you go. There you go. That's, that's pretty big there. But yeah, this is this is a, a projection. Yeah. Of the, yeah. And uh, let's see this one because I'm 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 in without. And you my, uh, you can't you, like I said they fabricate everything on the globe. Well, so you say, Africa is a huge continent. True. Yes. It's not like this small continent like they project on the you know. I'm just saying this is this is stuff you have to question. I mean, it's, I'm not just pulling no, this out of my, my ass or nothing, you know? Yeah, you are. I mean, you, you have you to totally question are. this kind of thing. You, you, you're totally pulling it out of my ass. If, if pulling the truth out of, you know? Yeah, you're just pulling it from there. Pulling the truth out, I guess. That's you're just yanking it out of there. there. All right. Let's see. I'm, see you have right. to be unprogrammed to I am not that. I'm not locked in with my credentials. I can't see the. I can't. It doesn't let me change it to uh, no, no projection. Weird. It's not a projection. Uh, dog. People. 
in a in a uh, incognito window. How do I do that? Uh, has he been out of his grandma's basement? Are you are you ca are you calling from your grandma's basement? Uh, no, my grandma actually lives in uh, California. Okay. So I'm I'm in New York, so I, I can't be in my grandma's basement. All right. Who's whose basement are you in? Um, uh, I'm in my own basement. Are you in a basement? No, I'm actually in uh, one of my living rooms. And and all of those old school uh, DVDs on the on the wall behind you there. Yeah. Those are actually some good collectibles too, worth yeah, thousands. Like thousands. Like what? Like well, what's your like, what's your these best are one? Like, what's your best one there? Oh, I have like a ton of Rush Rush albums that are worth thousands, like vinyl. If I put these on eBay, these these would go for thousands, but I'm not gonna do that. Rush Rush on vinyl worth. Uh, that unopened, right? No, they're op they're open. Opened rush on vinyl, worth thousands. Like like which, which uh, which one? What do you mean, which one? Which which album do you have of Rush on vinyl? That's been opened. I have the R R forty, R forty, R forty. Yeah. Let's see it. This is the only one that's not. That's not. Is that vinyl? Yeah, this is vinyl. All right, let's. See. This right here would run for about, probably about five hundred. Five hundred for that. I have, like, I have a ton of collectibles. So collectible hold music. On, like, on, let's see here. Hold, hold, hold that up again. Let's see it. R forty. That's that's vinyl. That looks a little small for vinyl. Well, vinyl CD, compact disc. Could you? Oh my gosh. CD. When you say vinyl, Dion, it's not CD. Well, the, vinyl well, yeah, is, I mean, is a record. That's, I'm saying the other things I have vinyl. That that's a record, right? Oh my gosh. So which which is which vinyl do you have? Actual I have vinyl. a ton. I gotta pull them all out. Just, just one. I'm, you know how many? Like, there's thousands back there. I just don't, one. Just one. Just one. I just, just pulled pick out one. one. Just pick. You know, something on vinyl that's worth this, thousands. What just, is just my one. collection? What, what no, does I, my I, collection I, have to? The, your adoring fans want to know, Dion. What, what is your good, like, your most, the one you're most excited about? Which my rush? my, it's not a Rush album, but it's, it's probably a Michael Jackson, Off the Wall. That's probably one of my best ones. Michael Jackson, Off the Wall, on vinyl. Yeah. Now, when you say vinyl, do you mean vinyl C CD? No record. Or this vinyl record. record. The stuff you play on oh. a scratch, scratch, uh, scratcher. Yeah, and, and it's unopened. Yeah. I have a t like I do a lot of collecting. You do okay. But what does that have to do with? I the... just, just, just. So all right, so we've got we've got and it's unopened. You say? Yes. I like I have a ton of I have a ton of like uh, versions, but that one in specific is un unopened. And what's that worth? Oh, I don't know. That that's got to be worth thousands. Thousands. It's got to be. Yeah. Because eBay, eBay says somewhere less than 40. Not 40,000. 40. I mean, that's just 40. I mean, it all depends I mean, on. I mean, just, you know. Oh, there, there's one. There you go. Yeah, but see, those aren't, the, see, that's not, those aren't. Was was yours signed by by Michael? No. Was it signed by Logan Paul? <laughs> no. Could you get it signed by Logan Paul the next time you go 
to the Flat Earth Convention in L.A. in, in 2017? Um, I don't think I'll ever be seeing Logan ever again. Oh, uh, he had a, had a rough, rough separation. To the, but, legal, um, the legal trouble? Yeah. But yeah, I have a ton of flat tools. Uh, yeah, I mean... All right, well, Eon I Dusk mean, says, I'm pretty convinced he's part of some grand conspiracy to take over the world by trying to change our understanding of reality. Prove me wrong, Eon Dusk says. Prove him wrong. To change, to take over the world by trying to change our understanding of reality. Well, yeah, I'm trying to change your understanding of reality because your understanding of reality is programming like you've been taught lies we've all been taught lies growing up through public school so now when you get to the point where you unplug you start learning the real truth through examining and you know opening your third eye so yes Dude, you do need to change your reality I tell you i had way too much fiber the other day and my third eye was open not want to open up that third eye especially when you're camping because it's inconvenient but you have to like i said you have to unplug so yes in a sense i am trying to i i can tell you change your reality if and you here's get another enough, thing, you got a question you get yourself. enough fiber you will unplug and that third eye will open oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> that's more like the fourth line <laughs> Yes, you do need to question your reality because it's all been lies. So you say, so you say. Um, <laughs> Dave Fear says it doesn't add up. You to you, Dion. To you. He's talking about the the uh, measurements across the lake done by a uh, real surveyor. It just to me, it just doesn't add up. To you. To you, but to other people, it to a lot of people, it doesn't. You know, either, to, to people I that mean, to to people that understand surveying, they look at that and they're like, "Oh yeah, that makes sense. It totally adds up." I mean, these people believe we live in a giant spinning. Like, why aren't there city? Like, why aren't there cities upside down? I, I'm just hypothetical, right? Are you, are you serious, Dion? If we really lived on a giant spinning ball of water, there would be cities upside down. From are you, the are logic, you from the actually globe serious? I'm, I'm just saying, from the logic of the, the globe model, right, there would so, be cities so, so upside down okay. underground. So we, on a globe. Doesn't make sense. On a globe. I'm putting on my sweatshirt because it's cold. On a globe, which way is down? South. I don't own a globe. I, I don't. There's not one globe in my house. I don't. I, don't, I, don't, I haven't. I don't own globes anymore. I don't. Dion, Dion, on a globe, which way is down? It's south. No. Dion, you can't expect to actually debunk the globe by not understanding the globe. I don't own any globes in my house. Doesn't I never matter. have. Never will. Just just think about it for a second. Which way is down on the globe? I'll tell you, it's not a trick question. It's it's going it's south, going down under. South. No. Down is towards the center of the globe. So Of course. Oh yeah. If, if, yeah, if you, I already know that, you, but I, okay. I thought you okay. meant so, what so if down is towards the center. And if anything's on the surface of the, of the sphere, down is towards the center. So there isn't anything in relation to itself that's upside down. To somebody on the opposite side of, of the sphere, to them, that city would be upside down. But they would not be upside down themselves because down is towards the center of the globe. Okay, so with that being said, right? If we were, if, if the globe, uh, the globe model was correct, we would be able to dig a hole all the way through the center, and we would. It, by the time we dig that that hole through, we would have to end up in China. 
if the globe was correct. But that's not true, though. Well, not China. From from the United States, it would be approximately Australia. But if that were true, or Australia, we'll say it's Australia. But that doesn't that doesn't happen. Well, people don't actually dig that far. It's rather expensive to dig. But if you deep could, holes. you would have you would end up in China or Australia. But you can't. You would just keep going down. Yeah, yeah. So let's exactly. let's say that somebody add up. somebody myth built this mythical tube through, through the earth, right? And and uh, was able to do the engineering for it. So what then? We, you would just keep going down until, because according to the globe, the yes. globe uh, model, you would just keep going down until you got to the, to the end. Just pop the out, out of you'd, space you'd, anyway. You'd pop out the other side. But you wouldn't uh, land up in another country, though. Well, yeah, you would on the globe. But in Flat Earth, and that's a good question, on Flat Earth, if you dug a hole really deep, how, how far would you get before you popped out the bottom? That? Let's say, let's say somebody needed to bury a bunch of dogs. How far would they need to dig to make them, you know, fall through the bottom and then, you know, float back in? Oh, probably about two, two or three feet. Two or three feet, you'd get to the other side of flat earth. No, I'm just saying to bury the dogs. No, I'm, I'm saying let's say they wanted to really bury them deep, you know, the other side of the, the flat earth, because you know they wanted to. I don't know how Get deep rid that of them would be. dogs, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know how deep that would be. <laughs> right. I don't think anybody knows how deep that would be. I agree. No flat earther can answer that question. I There's no way. And that's another thing you wouldn't be able to measure. I don't think anybody knows I, how deep that would be. No no flat earther could measure anything. That's right. Steve6464 says, not proving everything was... You can't measure that. Was, yeah, we, we, we know flat earthers can't measure anything. Steve6464 says... Not proving everything with science. What else do you use to prove things? Uh, your own two eyes. And they can't be fooled? Well, that's what I'm saying. You can, gotta can, believe half your, of what you see. Can your eyes be fooled? Absolutely, they can. Can your eyes measure angles precisely? I mean, no, but... okay. Let's say that you had a mirror, right? And let's say that the mirror was 10 feet wide. And in that mirror was one tenth of a degree of turf. Could you, with your eyes, see the curve on that 10 foot long mirror? No, you wouldn't be able to see that. No, okay. Let's say that mirror was a mile long and had one degree of curve in it. Could you see the curve in that one degree? I in mean... That, in that one mile long mirror? No, but your eyes aren't meant to see that kind of stuff, though. Okay. That's the thing. Let's say that that mirror is 69 miles long and has one degree of curve in it. Could your eyes see that one degree of curve in 69 miles? No. Okay, so your eyes like are I not said, your good eyes enough. Aren't meant to see that kind of stuff. Yeah, though. your eyes are not a good enough instrument to measure. But the but here's the thing. But my eyes are good enough to know. You know, whatever this science is is claiming, it's not adding up. You know. No, your eyes, your eyes aren't doing the not adding up. That's your brain. Or the, little, the little brain, Dion, the, the, the little one. So, oh yeah, now my brain tricking me, right? No, your brain, you're just saying it doesn't add up to you. But other people can do it. Because it, it doesn't, that's just it, it doesn't add up. To you. But other people look at that data. Alright, well, let's go. Well, yeah, there. the program ones, yeah. Alright, um, here, Chris Hoffman says, Dion, do you know how burning gasoline in an engine can cause wheels to turn? How does the transmission work? If you don't know, then cars are alive. I mean that's. I mean that's just simple energy. I mean, 
Yeah, but, but how does the transmission work? Well, I'm not a mechanic, but uh, does it add up? No, but but see, here's the thing: you can see that with your own eyes how the mechanics work, though. Mechanics can see that. Mechanics can. So mechanics can understand it. You can, but it's okay that mechanics can understand it and you can. Because you see the mechanics and, and the energy working in front of you. So I, you know what I mean. Of course, you're gonna know how that works. I, you study I, it. I don't know. So, I mean, that's just simple energy. It's not actually just simple energy. It's pretty complicated. You know, that's actually, that's real science, working with your hands and how that kind of thing. How, how do you, how do you demark science from not science? See, here's the thing. Science is, all science is, is an educated guess. And no, no. How do you demark science from not science? Well, I'm getting to that. Okay. All science really is an, is an educated guess. So, true science is you have to put you have to put your theories to a test. You have to keep practicing and practicing, putting that to a test until you know for a fact scientifically this is what's true. How do you how do you test that? Then? You just how you just have to test it. Whatever How, your, what, what your theory is, you have to keep testing the theory. How? However you want to test it. Oh, so if I wanted to test a hypothesis, you said theory, but I know you meant theory, that the surface of water could be convex, I could use the geometry to test that. I mean, right. it, all it all depends on your instrument. Well, like I said, I, I don't trust those man-made instruments, me personally. Okay, but you trust the engine and the transmission in your vehicle that you don't understand. Yeah, because it's been put to the test that when you, these things work when you drive a car. That's yeah. different. And, and celestial navigation works when you sail a ship. Uh, but I, I, I don't believe it. I mean... I, me personally, but I right, know so, you. So incredulity. All right, Glover Mom says uh, for smoke. If the designer put a, the dome over the Earth, where do meteors come from, and what's the dome made of? Hmm. Well, I guess uh, see, there's a uh, in Genesis it talks about the uh, the firmament, right? Meteors, meteors. Oh, meteors. Oh, that's a, that's an interesting question because meteors. Um, Where do they come from? See, this is. Uh, see, this is uh This is going to be a lot for a lot of people to handle, but a lot of people don't realize that a lot of meteors are actually just you know illusions. But that's 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 for another combo. <laughs> Sounds like you're kind of running away from that one. What about well, the they, meteors that have exploded and broken glasses, uh, windows, and things like that? All, all a meteor is is, is a fallen star. It's not. But you, but know, you said the stars are outside the dome. How'd they get through the dome? The dome, you said, was there to protect us from the mean, evil aliens that want to come and get us and uh, eat our brains. Um, they will be sadly disappointed when they find the slider case. But uh, let's. You, you said Am the was happening. Okay. So how do the I, meteors I get through when the dome is there to protect us? I don't dome believe is, there. That yeah, dome it's probably, you're probably, it, it kind of fell apart. I mean, okay, so with that, it, from the illusion point, it's you know when at, at nighttime you're seeing it through the dome. Okay. Seeing it through the dome. It's not then, in the dome, but you're just seeing it through. Okay, but but. Then what? The the meteors aren't going inside the dome. You've just seen them go. They're not inside but, the dome. Though. But they've hit the ground even. Says says who? I've never seen any meteors hit the ground. Um, have you not seen that episode of the Waltons? <laughs> yeah, the Waltons. Where where the meteor went through. 
the house and landed in their house? Did you not that, see I, that? That's Hollywood, though. That's sci-fi. That's science. I mean, come on. That doesn't happen in real in reality. Oh, the Google moderator team is wondering how your dating is going. My dating? I have a fiancé. Yes, I have a fiancé. Is that it? Is that all you have? I'm not dating. I have a fiancé. <laughs> like, okay. Well, yeah. I mean, you can, you can actually date. Just because you're engaged doesn't mean you have to stop dating. I don't believe in that. Did you you don't you think so was he? I'm not in the I'm not into that the open re marriage relationship. I'm no, not no, into no. that. You date the same person that you're actually engaged to. Oh, not, yeah. That, not a that. different person. Yeah. The same person. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So here's here's what happens. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, if you you want to you, call you, that you, cheating, you meet you meet somebody. Right. And you're like, "Hey, woohoo." You want to go on a date? Okay. Well, I mean, that's... And then you go on a date. And then you go on another date. You go on another date. You hear that train? And then after a while, you're like, hey, I really dig you. I really dig you, too. We should get married. Okay. And then you're engaged. And then you know what you do? You go on a date. You well, go yeah. on a date. And then you know what happens? Now, this is the hard part for some guys. Guys, listen up. You get married. And that person that you're married to, you, there. you go on a noise. date. And then you go on a date with that person yeah, you're yeah. married to, not with somebody else. Just to, they they tend to not like that. I, I get it. it. Right. I mean, right. that, but that's pretty self-explanatory, though. I mean, when you say uh, you, dating, you, you would right. think that it would be, but some people don't know. When you say dating, it means you know you're seeing other people. I mean, but that's self-explanatory. I mean, of course right. you're going on a you know right. date. Well, There's significant so, others. Does does she think the Earth is flat? No, that's that's a good sign. Um, but I'm working I'm working on. Unfortunately, it, I I would I would uh, no I'd, I'm not asking you to give her to, to give her a name. Is there a name that you could use to address her? Ashley. Her name's Ashley. What's that? Ashley. Her name's Ashley. Ashley. All right. Is she watching? No. Okay. She's might currently she, out at the moment. Might she watch? I have no idea if she'll watch, if her attention span will watch this shit. All right, all right. Well, in the in the off chance that, that she is. Um, just, to get, just, just a second here. Ashley, should you actually go to Ashley? Um, Dion thinks the Earth is flat. I, I don't know if he's been hiding that from you. No, I think the Earth is a dome. And that there's a dome and the surface is flat foundation, and right? Thinks that all right. Hey, I'm I'm talking to Ashley. Shut up. Um, I just just in case you're unaware, Ashley, um, you, you sound you sound like a, a great person so far. He hasn't said much, but so far you sound fantastic. Um, it's a problem though because the Earth is not covered with a dome and it's not flat. So if you can, well, I mean that's, can, that's hey, oh shh. Sh sh Convince him otherwise. Otherwise, so, all right, Dion. Right, yeah, um, that's what maybe she Ashley she will listen. listen. She will, maybe she'll listen to you. She won't listen I, to me. But. I yep. I I hope so. Women, Ashley, I hope you do man, listen to me. Like, through the roof. For what? Women's attention spans are through the. They won't listen to, to are, squat. Are you really saying that? Do you want to retract that statement? You probably do. You should definitely retract that statement. Why? That was. I gotta tell you, you're not gonna be <laughs> impressing any of the ladies. I'm not you impressing them. I'm telling them that you think just, that they. I'm telling the truth. They have no. I can't be honest. I'm being. I'm telling the truth. Please, please. All right. Public service announcement. Dion does not speak for the channel. I'm being honest. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. They don't want to listen to this. NA NA says, uh, okay, I'll dumb it down for Dion. Why do you think God didn't create a globe and the solar system in a vast universe we live in? God didn't create a globe. But why? I mean, just for the fact that it just doesn't make sense. I mean, I, I don't think he would create something that it doesn't, doesn't make sense. 
but other people think it makes sense. And have you have who's this guy N A N A? Have you been a? That's funny. He donated. He donated six dollars and sixty six cents. Hail Santa! Wow. Hail Santa! He's a big Santa fan. Wow. Yeah, that that explains it. Um, explains anyway, what? Uh, I just caught on to that. But have you been have you been to space? I don't. We don't I know. Have, what it is. I have the other thing. He really donated six dollars and sixty six cents. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I think that guy's a Satanist. I uh, I would think he's probably more like a um, uh, atheist. Yeah, atheist. Yeah, they're, they're all. They're, they're yeah. pretty much the same. Uh, probably pretty much not. Um, Keith M says, Edgar Allen says what? Oh. What, I mean, what is, to what, Edgar, what? Edgar Allen, Edgar Allen, comp well, what who's is he the saying? famous, what the famous is? poet, the famous poet, Edgar Allen. What is he saying, what do? Edgar, I just finished this, the name of the famous poet, Edgar Allen. Oh, uh, Poe. There you go. That was another programmed uh, artist as well, but that's another. That's another uh, discussion for another time. Do you, Mute Donkey's wondering, do you t trust clocks to tell time? Because that's a man-made device. Yeah, I mean, well, that's the, the time. Oh, and that's another thing too. Uh, time is is time is is time time isn't real. It, like the idea of time is not real. Well, you're right. absolutely so time is man-made, without a doubt. So, all right, I'm at, the, I'm at this park. That's right in front of me. That's the main road that we took. Behind me is just this little nothing road. You can see my big Christmas tree right there. Um, and this pit just walked from there behind and then went around there and then walked in front of me. And now she's gone off in the distance that way. Maybe, yeah, I mean that's maybe Ashley sent someone to check in on you, Eli. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if he's out. She's out and about right now, but could could be. All right, um, Steve six four sixty four for five dollars says, "How about a drinking game where we take a drink every time DM says I do not trust it." I need to give a little uh, public service amount. Do you blame me? Do not do this drinking game. Alcohol poisoning is real. But Steve here, Steve, do you, Steve 6464, do you not blame me for trusting this? I mean, you can do it yourself. All right, we've got Lance Jess Elias says, I have a PhD in computational astrophysics. This is the person that measured the distance to the sun several times. I measured the distance to the sun with spectroscopy, radar, parallax, gravimetry, that's Mercury's motion and the procession of Venus converged 94 million miles. So my question to Lance is, how often do you use that PhD? Just, I'm just curious, wondering. I, 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 don't, I don't know if it really... Like, what would you need that PhD in, I mean? In computational astrophysics? Like, how would you use that in everyday life? Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's my thing. You wouldn't use it necessarily in everyday life. I write email filtering software, and my email filtering software is only used when receiving email. My email filtering software isn't used at all when I'm mowing the lawn. Exactly. I can mow the lawn without any email filtering software at all. And I so don't. So why do I, we need to know that that program? You know what I mean? That program. Yeah, but I don't, I don't but, get it. but you would <laughs> want to use email filtering software if, for example, you had email and you wanted to have less spam and phishing messages. Um, and you know, I was thinking about this today, people. That Nigerian prince has been looking for somebody gullible enough for a long time, and I gotta say, the flat earthers probably made that guy rich. Nigerian prince was that. 
Well, that Lance. Tell you what, Lance. Jeff Who's this Nigerian prince? Uh, I'll send. I'll forward you a few emails from. PC Tony says if you use 10,000 year old observations, you get correspondingly out of date conclusions. <coughs> uh, Google moderator team wonders if you enjoy wrestling with women. Wait, wrestling with women? W wait, what? Can you, can you reread that? Nope. Nope. <laughs> AT2 production says. No, the answer is in the appropriate professional setting. Maybe try to get a job that doesn't involve would you like fries with that, Dion? Hey, I mean, you know, like I said, I'm awakening the masses, you know what I mean? Like uh, The masses, I don't think, are paying any attention to you, Dion, just to be just to be, I mean, I'm just... That's a good I, thing, because I... It's I, I hard to break it, Dion. I don't, I don't want to... Any masses have, have hey, maybe not, but hey, all the them. ones who will listen, that's all I count. Lordy Luminous Poo says, Halt Fashion Police, blazer over a t-shirt with a ratty baseball cap. He deserves to play. Hey, this is a Buffalo Bills cap, okay? That's one of the best teams in the NFL. The NFL is a great club. Neither nor. Hey, the Buffalo Bills are still one of the best teams. But, uh, uh, okay. Is that, is, it, is this, uh, And this blazer cost eight grand, by the way. Yeah, you talked about that last time. How much was that t-shirt? Cobra, uh, Cobra Kai? Yeah. Oh, I got this from a Cobra Kai, uh, not seminar, but, like, Comic-Con. They had, like, the, the cast. Have you, have you watched Cobra Kai? Yeah. Yeah, they got that from, uh, where, where you, you know, was this was this when you were in LA in 2017 meeting no, Logan no, Paul? No, no, This was when William Zabka, Ralph Macchio, um, Ralph Macchio. Yeah, Ralph Macchio. He played Daniel in uh, he played Daniel in uh, the Karate Kid, and William Zabka played Johnny. And then Creed, you got Creed. Well, what do you mean? Uh, what, what's so funny? <laughs> Ralph Macchio. Can I order? Can I order a Ralph Macchio at Starbucks? I'll no, this a, was at a Comic Con. Comic Con. I'll have a venti chocolate Macchio. Ralph Macchio. He played Daniel. Daniel in uh, the Karate Kid. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get what's. <laughs> oh my god! I don't get the I don't get the, the joke for that. Crease oh. Crease played by uh, Michael Cove. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So, the hat. Tell me about the hat again. Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills hat. Uh, when they what kind went of, to what the kind Super Bowl of, in the nineties. What kind of team was that? What What do they play? Uh, football. Oh, did you see that ludicrous display last night? Huh? What was Wenger thinking? Sending Walcott on so early. The thing about Arsenal is they always try to walk it in. What? That's I'm all talking about football, not baseball. That's all I know about football talk. Oh, okay. Um... I've reached the end of my football talking there. Uh, all right. Peter Miss Prime says, why is it that flurfs are never prepared for these debates? I mean, what, I, what does he want? Like, have I not been telling, like, have I not been speaking logical facts through this? You have, you have not been. Well, that's your opinion. I mean, you you have not been. Um, <laughs> Ralph Macchio. I don't well, know. I don't I, get what's so funny. Like that's I, that's I, the guy who played Daniel in the Karate Kid. D Daniel, yes, Daniel. Ralph Macchio. Yeah, Daniel. So I'll have a. I'll have a 
I don't get what's so weird. Is there some kind of in like? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't, not nothing else. Gary Little, uh, big brother to Stuart Little, says the towers of the Golden Gate Bridge prove the curvature of the Earth, as does any other tower type bridge. Did you know that, Dion? Because when they build them, they have to build. I've never heard of that before. They have to build them to tip away uh, from each other the, the, the correct amount based on the curvature of the Earth. I mean, I've, I've never heard that before. No? Well, that... I mean, yeah, I, I don't good. believe that. That's... Cool. Yeah, okay, yeah, so I, people, I, do yeah, not I drink every time he says, I don't believe it. It's... You, you, and what you do food, not want to be held does responsible. He have for those cl- like, I mean, that, to me, that's a claim, you know? It is. I don't, and, and I don't have... And Gary may, but I don't have the, the engineering documents on hand. Uh, Mr. United for the Chill Wind says, Dion, I saw your old videos. Is it true you said in one of them that you were once intimate with Ronda Rousey for less than two minutes? Um, I'm not going to comment on that on this stream. I mean, I'm... Yeah, no comment on that. I'm not going <laughs> to. I don't I don't think you want me to comment on that on this stream, McDoom. No, you, you, go ahead. Go ahead. Nah, uh, I'm gonna. Uh, no comment on that. Yeah, it's, it's okay. You can. It's it's okay on the stream. I'm fine with it. I I don't want to speak on that on here. Is um, that is that because if Rhonda hears you say anything like that, she'll just come over and. Yeah. You know what I'm Ronda saying? Rousey. She'll take care of business if you. Uh... That's something that happened long ago in the past. I don't want to. Were I don't you, want to get back were you at the time sleeping or hallucinating? Like I said, I'm not going to comment Just on say that yes. situation. Just say yes. I'm not going to comment on that. <laughs> All right. Uh, Technics is wondering, at what point does math become not believable? Is 2 plus 2 unbelievable? Well, yeah, I mean, that's the, but the 2 plus 2 is a metaphor. Like, you know, it's, it's a quantity. It's, it's uh it's not know. a metaphor it's it's not at all a metaphor you know i could make up a name and say this is plus plus and you know it, that's all right. it is it's, 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 it's two plus four or sorry it's two plus it's quantity two. it's quantity it's, energy is it unbelievable there's no energy involved in it there's there's no units yes because you're taking uh, an object a quantity you're saying two plus two is this figure that's that's all it is yeah yeah Do you, is it un is it uh, unbelievable for you? I mean, you do need basic mathematics, but okay, I okay. mean, it's you so don't need all this other. What about algebra what about fifty one forty algebra forty algebra forty know, algebra you, six seven? You know, you don't need all that al- algebra. Like, you know what I mean? What What are these things you're saying? Algebra six seven. Algebra you don't need al- like that's all program. You don't need algebra seven in in real. In real life. What's, what's the definition? Uh, <laughs> Kalina's that kind of mathematics partner. program. Hold, hold you don't Kalina's, need that. Hold on, hold on. Kalina's agility partner is wondering, what's the definition of a metaphor? Uh, I mean, I don't know the exact, you know, definition. Yeah, on just hand, rough. Just rough as hell. A metaphor is like... It's like, it's, it's a replacement of a hidden replacement of what you're really talking about. It's hidden. Why is it? What, what do you mean it's hidden? It's like a hidden, not hidden, but like it's a replacement of what you're really talking about. I don't have the definition on hand, but. Okay, but you said math is a metaphor. A two plus two is a metaphor. Yeah, it's a metaphor of a quantity because it's, all it is is quantity. You know, I could name two is a is a name. You know, I could say, oh, that's you know. Are you, you have trouble with variables in math? Like, let's say, let's say I'm not a said, mathematician. I'm really not. Yeah, but, we, I I believe you. Um, let's enough, say this. You know, let's just let's just just um. Programming. Let's say four equals x plus two. What does x equal? 
see, I don't even know that off the bat. I'm not a mathematician. Clearly. But see, here's the thing. Like, you don't... That's all programming, though. You don't need... You don't need to, to know that kind of thing. What do you need to know that for? Uh, I don't know. You, you're right. Yeah, you'd never use... All you need to know is basic arithmetic. counting and basic math. That's all you need to know. How to yeah, do your but, taxes, but, your but, banking. But if that's the case, then this, this video you know, stream could not happen. Do you know that? What? Re remember, this video stream requires discrete... Cosine transform. Discrete. Say it with me. Discrete cosine transform. Discrete cosine transform. There you go. Without discrete cosine transform, the video could not be compressed. And the audio could not be compressed that we are using to communicate with. You know, like I said, I'm not I'm not a mathematician, but But so you need it though. That's the thing. You need it to a degree, you to a it point. To, you don't to, need it to... Well, you certainly need it to get up to, all the way up to discrete cosine transforms. That stuff, that that mathematics they teach in college, which is programming, you don't need that. But how are you, you going don't to... don't need to know how that. Is this it's video programming. Stream, how is this video stream going to happen without it? Like I said, it, you, all you need is, is energy. No, it's, it's, actually, it's actually discrete cosine transform. All you need is a basic algebra. All you need is a basic math, how are a basic you do calculus and, and algebra to, to do that. How you don't need a cal you don't need a calculus seven, you know algebra six, seven, eight. You don't need all that. Like, what do you need to know all that for? I'm just saying. Like, I'm, do I not? Am I not making great points? Like, oh my gosh, um, a Lord of Luminous Poo says for two dollars, Africa program. is is huge so huge the h is silent that's how huge it is <laughs> you, you need the oh, math he's got an all yeah yeah you're not getting far you're not getting far without man i gotta tell you yeah he's got a uh pyramid yeah an all-seeing eye there of course yeah, he's, he's looking at you i don't know if you saw it or not but there's a few agent smiths in the chat Oh, it's you, probably, it's probably 70 percent agent smith 70 absolutely um jdt turbo is wondering what was gandalf's name before leaving the undying lands if you read the silmarillion well that's not a real book no the silmarillion is a real book i have it i have a copy of it oh wait a minute that's the uh the books were before uh the hobbit the hobbit uh it was the books before the Hobbit uh, trilogy. I have not read those. That is a real book. You're the right. Hobbit. Wait, the Hobbit was not a trilogy. It was the books before the Hobbit. The Hobbit books. That is a real book. I, yeah, I forgot yeah, about that. Yeah, but the Hobbit. The Hobbit's not a trilogy. Well, there's I three mean, books. They, they made it. They books. made. They stretched one book into three movies. Kind of forced that. Right. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. That is a real book. That's, J that's the book before the Hobbit. <coughs> JDT Turbo, I do not remember the name. Again, I'll say before it leaves. <coughs> the Undying Lands. Hold on, I got it. All right, a little bit of water. All right, there it is. There's the, there's the most accurate Flat Earth map ever presented. <coughs> Mr. Mr. United for the Chill Winner is wondering, Dion, do you collect digital rotary phones too? That's a good question, Dion. Do you have any digital rotary phones? No. No? Have you ever seen a digital rotary phone? I have not. Not that I know of. Probably not. I was born in the 90s. Were you? Yeah. Chronic Avengers says this guy's a dollar store Tate. Dollar store? Who's the Tate? I don't know who that is. Is it Andrew Tate? Oh, yeah, that's uh, Andrew Tate. I've heard of that guy. And somebody's asking if you're still taking new students for your Dion Smo's uh, 
whatever. Oh, absolutely, always. One hundred percent, always. All right. <laughs> uh, always, always Humphrey, taking it to us. Humphrey Pushcart is wondering, for your favorite quantity, Yocletus. Is the programming of your re reality in Python, C++, or Fortran? What is Fortran? Uh, that would be formula translation. That's what it stands for. <laughs> it's a programming language. Well, yeah. Like I said, we live... If you really think about it, but, though, we but live in a what, like, programming S yeah, simulation. Yeah, but what's the language used for this programming? Python, I mean, C++, Fortran? Or is it more trendy? Are they using... Rust or Go? Like I said, I'm not a programmer, so I don't I don't know the links of. Oh well, then how do you that. know so much about the programming? I mean, I know enough about the simulation, the matrix that we're in. I mean, all right. Well, Allie, you guys are in. Allie had curry last night, <laughs> and Allie's third eye is roasting hot. Yeah, that's ever, another. You ever, uh, that's you ever get some topic. Buffalo Wild Wings, and then the next day you're like, third eye. <clears throat> um, all right, for Tim Breyer says, please, for the love of God, tell him to point south, and then down, then ask him if it's the same direction. All right, Dion, here's your chance, Dion. Point south. South. Point south. It's it's down. That's always down. So for, from where you're sitting in your house there. In the basement of this uh, this house, which way is south? Uh, which way probably. South? Where's my compass? Uh, I have my compass on me, but it'd probably be. This is your. That this way. is your. This is your home. You don't even know. I'm not even in my home, and I know that way is south. Right. That's what. That's what I just pointed to. Okay. Now, all right. So point point south with with one hand. Okay. Yeah. Now take your other hand. Get your other hand ready. Get your other hand ready. What, what is this? This oh, is get, some kind of... Get, get your other hand ready. Right? Ready? I just pointed south. Yep. Get, you have one hand pointing south. Okay. okay. And now get your other hand ready. Now point down. On screen so we can all see. Okay. There we go. Right. We can, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They're not the same. I just pointed south from where my direction is. Is there any beer in that can? Uh, no, not anymore. Tim Pryor comes back and says, "You have to say down is toward the ground, not centered. These guys will not get it." Yeah, because they're used to that. I yeah, man, these people are really programmed. What language are they programmed in again? Being plugged into the this simulation, the Matrix. Python, C++, Fortran, Pascal. Like I said, I'm not a pro I, I don't know the language, but they're programmed. Object Pascal, Swift. JavaScript, Lingo. Who in the chat has programmed in Lingo? Or HTML. Oh, I'm kidding. HTML is not Turing complete. Right? What the <laughs> Who's programmed in Lingo? Ooh, this. Yep. PHP, basic, MIT Scratch, SQL, assembly, COBOL, bash. We're, we're going. We got a couple. Just, just tell me when it's. You know, I'm not a programmer. I don't, I don't know. Basic. No, I do not mean logo. I do mean lingo. Java. I do mostly Java. Dot. Dot is a. Bash. Uh, Bash scripts, I suppose. All right. Um, there you go. Top left for sure, says Dave Cernick. Would you like to win top left? It's an elite competition. Top left? Yeah. And what competition is that? It's the top left competition. Doing what? Winning top left. Don't worry about it. It's it's for people that have done that have tried hard and, and really put forward an effort in their top left units. 
um, the nominations are in February, voting is in March, and then the uh, announcement is at the end of March when we get official results. Out. Top left, is that like political? I'm not a left leftist. Or it's not political. Tim Pryor says, better yet, tell him to point to the top of a basketball, then tell him to point uh, to put that space where there is no up or down, then explain where down is, then everything is being pulled toward the ball. Do you have do you have a basketball or a soccer ball? I don't. I don't play basketball. Any? Do you have any spherical objects in there? I don't have any spherical objects. You have no spherical objects. I have two. I keep with me all the time. I don't have no globes. Nothing. You'll never find a globe in it in my house. You have no spherical objects with you. I mean, I had a baseball the other day, but I I am never without my spherical objects. I gotta tell you. I mean, I had I was playing baseball the other day, but I don't have the baseballs here. Mm. <laughs> now, turtle, turtle no longer has the spherical objects. They've been uh, they've been uh, taken away. Um, <laughs> yes, hunter. Better yet, tell him to point to the twat. But see, what would that prove? Like, uh, it 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 was because you were having a problem understanding which way's down. Well, obviously, depending on where you're at, you're going to know what down is. You know what I mean? Down is towards the center of the earth. Exactly. Um, on, a, on a basketball, down is towards the center of the basketball. Right. You're taking, using it as an analog for the earth. So there would, no, there would be nothing that's actually upside down. <laughs> Professor Phil Bell, yes. Yes, it did. It did. All right. Um, we got Lord Illuminous Pooh. He's a big fan. He says, if possible, once you hit the center, you'd be digging, you'd be climbing. So this is about digging a hole through the earth again. This was, this was a little bit ago. Um, yeah, you, you would, if you dug, if you dug a hole down to the center of the earth, and if you didn't just get a little toasty because it's warm down there, if you've got the air conditioner installed in the window. Um, once you got to the center, you'd have to dig up because you'd be in the middle, right? Wait, on, on uh, the globe pad model? On the globe, yes. I mean, that that would make logical sense, but that's not what would happen. <coughs> yeah, okay. Davy Claritz for four ninety nine says, Dion, do you have a vinyl reel to reel of Cool the Gang's Get South on it? <laughs> Get South on it. That's a good that's a good uh that's a good band. I do have a few records by them, but I don't have anything on vinyl. Do you have a vinyl reel to reel? No, I don't. Do you do you have a reel to reel vinyl player? I mean I just have the sc the scratch player that plays the vinyls, but yeah, does it play? Does the scratch player play the reel-to-reel uh, -reel vinyls though pretty well? Yeah, I'm sure they could. I'm sure they could. All right. Um, uh, let's see here. Oh, you're, people are warning about your accent, but all right. So we got uh, Hunter. Uh, da, 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 oh, how good are your eyes? Wait, Hunter is are you mute are you full hammer, Hunter? <coughs> are you full hammer? See how good Dion's eyes are? What's that supposed to mean? <coughs> the fuck? Well I'm I'm looking I'm looking for people that, that uh, sent me DMs here. Yeah, okay. I don't believe full hammer. My eyes, and you know, I mean, I see the truth, you know. I mean, yeah, well, well yeah, we're gonna, just gonna test it out here for a second. Which one is bigger is the question. Um, and here it is. Which one is bigger? Oh, 
Oh, obviously the uh, the set uh, the, the first clip is the big one. Of the, the one on the left. Yeah. Are you sure? Absolutely. I mean, it's Twala. All right. That's the Twala clip. So there you go. Yeah, that's she. Yeah. They're both the same size. Apparently, your eyes are not that good. I mean, what kind of? Okay, so he he did some some illusion illusionary there. Obviously, yeah. All right, obvious. No, your uh, human yeah, eyes are just I don't not. Know who that was. That was a good one. We're, though. we're just not good at measuring things. That's that's the reality with our eyes. Um, yes. Yeah, so Eden Tiger sci-fi reviews. That was so bad. That picture was fabricated. If you study something, you can understand it, but you but you, having studied nothing, can understand nothing. Stud what is it? what do you mean study nothing? I study the energy around me. How? I study life. I study the the things you can't see. You have to be in a certain mindset to, to see these things. You have to be unplugged from the matrix. Okay, you, have you ever hand, studied energy? Other well? other hand motions. Right. To say I've studied nothing, that's that's tomfoolery. I've studied the energy around me. But, how, but you don't even know how transmission works. Yet you think it, uh, you trust I'm it. I'm not a Mac mechanic. I mean, exactly, but you trust but, it. But I know whatever those instruments that are being used inside that car is making it, is designed to make it fluid yeah, and work. And, and an instrument I know that designed part. to measure angles works. Right? Yeah, but, but the, those angles aren't proving anything. They're not? Why not? Just because you say they're not. They're not proving what you just, think. You're not. They're not just, proving curvature. Just no. Uh -uh. Well, what what is it showing then? Numbers. That's it. Numbers. No. So all it is is numbers. That's that's all math is. But this isn't numbers. Yeah. By the way, I don't see where, the curvature on that. Wh that where's there. Where's the numbers here? Where's is this supposed to? I don't see curvature on this. Where's the numbers? You said it was numbers. Where's the numbers? You don't. That's the. That's the whole thing. You don't see the numbers physically. Okay, so it's not numbers. But the, you know the degree or the angle is numbers. Yeah. But this is not numbers. This is just a simple non-numerical test to see if the surface of water is curving. That's all it is. No numbers here. And the, in this picture, does it look like the water's curving? Remember, you already agreed that you cannot see water curving. Remember? You can. And, and it, yeah. I don't see any curve your, in that picture. Your eyes are not good enough to see the amount of curve that's on the surface of the Earth. You cannot see with your own eye. You could not see one degree of curve over an, a mile, you agreed. And there's one degree of curve over... 69 miles, even bigger. And yet we don't see any curve. Like we should not. We should not see any curve. Because wow. our eyes are not good enough to see it. But this <laughs> instrument, this instrument is good enough to see it. So we can so use this, this instrument to help us see that there is a curve over just 1.4 miles. So they're just going to okay, there's curve, but you're not supposed to see the curve. Is that what you you're see saying? It. We see it right there. Right there. Here it is. I don't see, see any curve there. Yeah. That's, if there was no curve, then that, that horizontal crosshair would be right in the middle of that target. I don't see any curve there. Denial. Denial. Right. Denial doesn't win. Denial, so there's curve. So denial you're, not, you're not supposed to see loss. the curve, right? Just, you know, denial is instant. Um, Linda for five okay. Australians says Dion, and then a bunch of emojis. Of, uh, uh, you know, they, I don't know, maybe, man, maybe. That's good stuff. <laughs> Razovsky wants Sam Owens back. Oh my goodness. He is, whew, that guy's crazy. That guy is as crazy as they come. Um, Astronaut 66 says Dion, please tell the people of, <laughs> yeah, this is about the meteor. Uh, Chel Chelyabinsk 
Russia that meteors don't do damage on the ground. Do your research and look on YouTube for Chelyabinsk meteor. Have you heard of that? There's video of that happening because people have uh, cameras on their dash, dash cam. There's, I've seen at least one, and I think there's multiple dash cams of the meteor going through the, you can see it in the sky, and, uh, and then it exploded, <clears throat> and the explosion was so intense that uh, people, that uh, stuff was damaged, property was damaged. <coughs> Nothing? Come on. Did he, um... A meteor somehow got through the dome that's supposed to protect us from the aliens. Yeah, did he, um... <laughs> let, let me guess, he, he walked up to the meteor and he found, uh, Clark Kent inside of it, right? How else could he get here, duh? Yeah, that... Uh, yeah. Alright, Captain Nugget for $2 says, So, Dion, <clears throat> why is the Earth the only planet that's flat? I mean, we could look up at Mars, and Mars is a round piece of sphere. We've never been to any of them. How, and that's another thing, too. How do we the know what it is? The moon is here, right? <clears throat> we've never been, we did, we've never been to any of those planets. Well, people we have been to the moon. Like. People have been to the moon. Twelve people have been on the moon. No, they haven't. Yeah, yeah, they have. They, no. they, they even brought, they brought them back. Rocks. Come on. They took, just... they, took, they took some tourist photos. Um, they, they left no man crap. has ever been on the moon. They, they I'm sorry to some, break it to you. crap there that we can we can even see. You don't know that? Have you not looked at the... Uh, let's see. What's the other one? <coughs> that's not the one. I have... Th there's a bunch of... Uh, there's a bunch of pictures that they... they uh, the LRO has taken. Myself through your uh, things. You can? I can, yes. Yeah, one second. I'm gonna go fix the audio real quick. <laughs> there we go. I'm, uh, I'm pulling up <coughs> the LR LRO pictures. Alright, Dion. Where, where you at, Dion? Oh, he's, he's just, he's, he's gone away. Alright, there's Apollo 11. These are a bunch of different pictures that are taken. You can see how low it is. You can see the shadow. Because they're, they're based on the time that the picture was taken in the lunar day. And so the shadow gets uh, shorter and shorter. All right, thank you. All right. All right, is the audio dead now? Um, I don't know. I'll tell you in a minute. All right. Okay. Here I is... I think it's now. All right, you see this? Yeah. There is Apollo 11 landing site. You see how that shadow changes in length? That's because that's the different times of day, of the, the lunar day. You, you really believe that's the moon? Is the moon, yes. And you can even see this one, you can see here the path yeah, the moon. that the path that they took walking out to that crater on the right. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's definitely the moon there. Definitely it the is. moon. It is. Alright, and then alright, see you see how the shadow's getting longer? It's not. <clears throat> there you go. That's Apollo uh, eleven. Let me grab a which is one that they had the, the lander. I just don't I mean, get how people rover. believe this stuff, man. Alright, here it is. Here it is. Alright. You see that? It's going all the way across. 
across the the shadow. See how long that shadow is going across the the uh, yeah the crater there. You can see it's way far there. All right, so there it is. It's in sh it's in shadow there. There it is. And you can see it detracts from the the rover. It's pretty cool. Please don't tell me you don't believe this stuff. Look at that. That's pretty cool. You you don't believe that photo, do you? That is. Well, don't believe that photo isn't a refutation of the photo. If you don't think it's correct, then then do better something else. <clears throat> this is Apollo 17. Look at that. They went all over the place. So this is from the LRO. Yeah, sure they did. Reconnaissance orbiter. It's taking pictures, photographs of the moon. It's not run by NASA. It's run by, I think, by um, like mostly by Arizona State University people. <coughs> so there you go. You can look at all the look at all the tracks they left. All over the place. Leave the moon. Leave the shadow there. So there it is. The moon is spherical, and we went there. So. Sure we did. I'm glad you and, agree. And this, I do believe the moon is real, Luna. But there's all, like I said, there's a yeah, but half the, the thing, those half were, the those time are, the thing you see in the sky is a hologram. Right. So you say, all right, Lance Je Jess Elias is a new member. Thank you very much, Lance Jess Elias. I would love, you know what? I'd love to talk to you sometime about how you did these measurements. Be interested in sometime coming on just to go over a couple of the different ways that you did it send me a message on either discord or facebook or email or twitter whatever works let me know who you are and my new uh of this conversation so <clears throat> all right we're getting to the, towards the end here tim Pryor says ralph macchio as daniel karate kid he played the karate kid in and he played. He played, played Daniel and, and uh, uh, Cobra Kai. I don't. I don't get what, what's so. What's it's, 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 it's uh. It's yeah. Ralph Macchiato. I'll have a, a, a venti, please. <laughs> Great actor too, by the way. Uh, I disagree. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess that's debatable. Uh, Lance Jesse Elias said that the email joke won, won uh, <clears throat> did, did the winning, him or her, uh, over. I think Lance Jesse Elias, that's the guy who, that's the guy who uh, sent the clip photo, the, right? The PhD that measured oh, the gotcha. distance to the sun in multiple ways. <clears throat> uh, Al <laughs> Albino Bad Guy says that uh, he is the Nigerian prince. And has some vinyl for sale. So let me hook you up uh, with uh, with the albino bad guy who is the Nigerian prince. Yeah, I do a lot yeah. of collecting, so let me know. Yeah, sign right, some, some some vinyl. Prince, prince some, Michael Jackson. Yeah, Metallica. Some, get some Prince and Michael Iron Jackson Maiden. that was signed last year by by both of them. That Iron Maiden. I do a lot of like 80s, 80s collecting when it comes to music. To me, that was the best. That was the best era of music, was the 80s. So I do like a lot of collecting. But I digress. Yeah, somebody had, somebody got a Michael Jackson vinyl signed just last year. By oh, oh, did they? Yep. Oh, oh, Michael, Michael's uh, Michael Jackson's clone. No, by Michael, the real Michael. Um, he's. A, he, Hangs out on the secret NASA moon base. Oh, he faked his death too, right? Kal Kalina's agility partner says he has officially failed third grade. Who has Michael Jackson? He couldn't be talking about me. I think so. I have a college uh, degree. In what? What's that? In what? And and please don't say that it's from the Flagler Community University. That does not count. I'm just I don't have a, a degree in college, but I did. You I just did have a said you had. You just said you had a degree. Okay, that that 
That was a joke. Bill McGuire says, Why do you have a high school diploma, though? <clears throat> that, uh, I'm going to have to say, I don't believe it. It just doesn't add up. Hey, Dion, that's your please opinion. describe this accent you're attempting. What's that? Please describe this accent you're attempting, says Bill McGuire. I mean, I'm from New York. I mean, I, I don't, there's no accent. See, New Yorkers go. have different accents, so. Bill McGuire, he, he. Uh oh. Kalita's agility partner says he's officially failed first grade. That's your opinion. Tim Pryor says, hey, been I'm drinking. smarter than, than she is. It says, been drinking to try to make myself this dumb, not working, and my, steps, my head still hurts from the alcohol. Tim, you got to watch it. I don't know if you could actually reach that level before alcohol poisoning kicked in. Hesifer says, metaphor is on the other hard, hard drive, but that's another conversation for another time. All right, try, try to dig up the metaphor uh, from your other hard drive. Yeah, these, these guys don't even understand. These, see, these guys are programmed, man. They're, yeah, it's all programming. Uh, Cautrophius for 66.6 .6 shekels says, Mom, Mom, there's a fly with a hat inside my computer screen trying to make me more stupid. Who is that, Catastrophius? He donated 66, wow. See, this is how I know these guys are programmed, man. I gotta, I gotta read this again, hold on, I gotta read wow. it again. Mom, mom, there's a fly with a hat. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna try to read the whole thing with <laughs> Yeah, this is good. You gotta admit this is good. Mom, mom, there's a fly with a hat inside my computer screen trying to make me more stupid. Well, geez, I want to know what uh, drug he's taking, what mushrooms he's on. And look, he even, he even uh, donated uh, 66, <coughs> 66 dollars and 60 cents. Like, not, not, not dollars. There's a, that sign, that little thing in front of it, isn't an S or Or that's Sackles. Sackles? Shekels. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, th Dude, thank you for the excellent channel. Hey, I'm glad, <laughs> glad to, to provide it. Uh, Cautrophius, I hope I'm saying that right. You should use the sepals to uh, shekels. shekels. Go find those 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 flies with the uh, hats on his house. This <laughs> it's right here. Oh yeah. All right, Lord Illuminus Pooh says, as leader of the Illuminati, I would like to recognize this. I would I would like you to recognize this as the all seeing he. It's not the all seeing I. He's not the Illuminati with an I. It's the Illuminati with an E. It's the all seeing E. Oh, all seeing E, yeah. Can you do this? That's Yeah, that was a good one. What's this? What's this letter? E. E. There you go. A B, C. Okay, this guy. Who is this guy? Is that uh? Yeah, that's that's definitely an agent smell. Lord Lord Illuminus Pooh. Yeah. See that's you see that. Hey, like I said, man, you know, I'm just here to speak the truth, and one one day you might do that. Andrew Tate is who you. Uh, Wish.com, Andrew Tate. Yeah, that guy's an interesting character. Like, I, that dude's an interesting guy. <laughs> RT96, when we're asking about which programming language the Matrix is programmed in, he, uh, apparently the answer is the language is F sharp, but only if you tune it tune to A432. Go By the way, there's a ton of languages in the program, too. It's not just one language. Oh, which ones? programmed in a plethora of languages. Like, which ones? I mean, I, like I said, I'm not a it programmer, but... Indie, Indie Tiger Sci-Fi Review thinks that your programming language is Lisp. 
What is Lisp? Lisp? Lisp is a language for people that enjoy typing open and closed parentheses a lot. Oh, gotcha. Oh, oh we got a lot. We've got, um, yeah, we've got DOS, HTML, SQL, JavaScript, Python, APL docs, TypeScript, C, <laughs> HTML2, Python, and G++. Ooh, some people think it's Visual Basic, TCL, CSS. Uh, Ar <laughs> Ardren, CSS is not Turing complete. At least not when I study. I, I haven't. <laughs> I have not uh, studied CSS for a while, but when I studied it, it was not Turing complete. Uh, is that uh, that's one of the languages in uh, the program, eh? Yes, Fortran seventy seven. Uh, Notepad is not a programming language. Pascal, 6502 assembly. There you go. What do you think about that? Oh, he's there. part of the oh. Hong Sing Kwan. Yeah, the, Man the Hong Sing right Kwan. There. Man Devil gets it. Lingo. Director Studio. Lingo. Lingo was Director Studio. I did program in Lingo. Hey, that's bunch. what they use to film the moon landings at Director Studio. All right. Mark Sermon for $2 asks, Dion, what evidence convinced you that the Earth was flat? Please elaborate. Oh, what evidence? Well, for me, it was uh, like I, I had a mentor who actually helped me unplug. He was a Hebrew. He helped me unplug out of the Matrix. And he helped me see through the teachings of the Book of Enoch that we don't live on this giant ball of spinning water. And he said, you know, it's, it's actually, he started showing me old maps from the Hebrew, the Hebrew, uh, you know, the Bible and stuff. And it, it's like, it's not a, we don't live on this giant ball of spinning water. Like, so for me, I was, and, and right, like so I said, just, we, just which evidence? Which evidence? That that's just it. He helped me in tune that we don't. I started seeing things. I started seeing just just which I evidence. Didn't, you know, I was I was sitting on a plane one time and I didn't see any curvature. You know, I said, "Wait a minute, we don't live on a giant spin of water. Where's the curvature?" All right, so no evidence. All right, never. There never is. Uh, my mom. So <clears> for me, that's what. Yeah, so, all right, so no evidence convinced you. My mom bakes cakes the for five Australian all says, I'm paying five Australian upside-down money to see Smo's evidence of flat Earth from his hard drives. Okay. Well, gotta dig it up. Well, does she want to see the maps or maps, the maps? Yes. Which maps? Okay. Got yeah, the I have to get the can, maps from the hard drive. Can, can, can you dig out the maps? Other than this map, of course. Yeah, I can't. I just I can't do it. Uh, I can't do it right now, but I will do it at, at some point. All right. Going from my mum bakes cakes to thinking about cake says, serious question, Dion. Do you have a history of substance abuse? Please look at, into getting some help. This is some delusional thinking. Absolutely not. I've never, never done drugs in my life. All I do is drink. I don't do drugs. Nothing. Tomato Priestess Zumi. And how is this delusional thinking? Like, the truth? See, this is how you know people are programmed. They say this is delusional thinking. The truth. Delusional. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. That is crazy. Um, let's see. I'm looking. I'm looking. Hold on, Zumi. I've never done a drug in my life before. Never. Um, Dion, what did you say about Stacy's mom? Who's Stacy? Uh, more important, who's what? Who's Stacy's mom? I have no. I've never said. I don't, I've never dated any Stacys. Yeah, but 
What, what about Stacy's mug? I. What is she? Who, who, who asked that? That's Zumi. Zumi asked that. I don't know who. That, I've never dated any Stacy's in my life. But I don't think. I don't think. Uh, Zumi was asking about whether or not you dated Stacy. I don't know any Stacy's. All right. Well. Um, <clears throat> so back to this one. No substance abuse. Maybe, maybe something else. Maybe something psychological. So the truth is psychological. Five dollars from Tim Pryor says you literally showed down is south, or not the same. But we're pro but we're programmed. Damn, I'm not drunk enough yet. Tim, careful. Andrew stole yes. Fortran is still used, as far as I know. Oh, Fortran. Yeah. As far as I know, I think that's still used, yeah. Yeah. You, you don't know anything about programming, though. Yeah, I, I'm not... I have heard that before, though. I've, I've heard of Fortran, but I'm not in tune to it, but I've heard All of right. it before. Jiffy Cohn says my mother was programmed in Temple OS. And what is... What's Temple OS? programming language. All right, we've got... I'm going to turn the camera oh. off for just a little bit. All right, are you are you still listening? We've got yeah, Humphrey Pushcart says, uh, Cletus, I want to cover 50 square feet of driveway to a depth of 6 inches. How many cubic yards should I buy? But there is no Santa. There is no Santa, but Santa. But Dion's gone. Where'd you go, Dion? Uh, seriously, he's not here. I can do that math. No, he's not here. Alright. 500 square feet of driveway to a depth of 6 inches. That's not too hard. 500 square feet. Half of, half of a, a, a foot deep. 250 cubic feet. Okay. And there's 27 cubic feet in a cubic yard. So you need 9.26 cubic yards of that. How'd I do, Humphrey? I don't know where Dion went. He, he said he's just. I'm going to send him a message real quick. It's getting, it's getting a bit past, it's getting past time anyway. Um, my, my wife says, please bring water. Um, we have, we have a water filter on our camper, but it's, uh, it might be it might be a little cold so all right uh so he's switching his device all right maybe his phone died uh K K kalina's agility partner says for two dollars he doesn't know what's down he's failed preschool So I'm I'm in. This is a new a new app for me. So I'm I'm trying to not miss any super chats here, but I'll I'll run back. Um, Man Devil says DJ, DKG Custom did the CGI effects for the Total Recall movie. They fell through the center of the earth to the other side in that. In Total Recall. But I've watched, I got the list of movies that uh, DKG Custom worked on, and I, I've, I've watched many of them. Te te Technics 1 for Tooth Canadian says, if you dig south far enough, where do you end up? Just dig south. She <laughs> can't figure out south. Tim Pryor says, since this is now a thing, I no longer... 
identify myself as a human. If I cannot drink myself this dumb, then I'm going to be part of, then I'm not going to be part of this species. All right, that's, that's fair, um, <clears throat> Tim. Uh, okay, what species are you going to be? Let's, let's, let's figure that one out. You can take up your own name, I suppose. Virilian says, you keep saying energy. What units is this energy in? Oh, well, it doesn't do units. <laughs> Flurves don't do units. Oh, they never do. All right, this guy, you got Ben Hova. Says, this guy is just way too much smug. I was hot. He's, I thought you were going to say glue. Warren Evans says, Homo Hobilis finding his opposable thumb says, what? Coming. He's joining back. Let's see. Alright, Dion. Make hey, doing, are you there? Yeah, did your phone die? Yeah, my other phone died, so I had to switch to my other laptop, the other device. Why didn't you just plug it in? I didn't have a charger over here. Is the yeah, I didn't have a charger out? handy. You didn't have a charger? Do you have a charger at your I house? didn't have a charger handy over here. I had to go and get a... All right. Yeah, War, uh, Warren now. Evans says, uh, Homo habilis finding his opposable thumb says what? Homo phobilis finding his opposable... What, what does that mean? No, no. Homo habilis finding his opposable thumb says what? 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 I don't get it. Exactly. <laughs> Five dollars says, "Does the untrust the yeah?" I don't know anything about all that, bro. Mechanical parts on an airplane—they can be tested by taking a flight. Well, I mean, the Wright brothers. Well, the Wright brothers—they actually did actual science to help build the airplane. They 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 study from an. See, here's the thing with that. They study from an actual bird the physics and mechanics of how to fly. And they took that science and info, did actual science, and made the airplane. So, I mean, I, I don't, you know, it wasn't instruments, but it was studying of the bird. Okay. And, and uh, do you know how the engine worked? The en no, I don't know how the engine worked, no. So then it didn't work. If you don't understand it, then it doesn't Well, like work. I said, I'm, I'm not a, you know... Not like I said, I'm not a, an airplane mechanic, you know? Correct. But I know whatever they're doing to make it work, works. So, can you not just use the same logic for people that uh, use the piano app? I mean, like I said, I... The answer is yes, you can. But what there I'm saying people, is the angles in a measurement design, doesn't add up. There are people that design cars. They're very good at what they do, and the cars work. There's people that measure the shape of the Earth. They're very good at what they do, and the measurements work. If you don't understand either one of those, but you can look at the results of them and say, well, the results tell me this way. The process that happened, I don't know, don't understand, whatever. I wasn't there when the sausage was made, but I still got the sausage. Right? I mean, but I just, I don't, th those kind of instruments, I don't, I don't really trust though. This is me personally, but, you know? But no reason why. All right. Uh, D Davey Claret says, Dion, how do you set the speed of your scratcher? In RPM or miles per hour? <laughs> RPM. Okay. At what rate does the Earth rotate? 
um, the Earth doesn't rotate. That's just it. But for the globe, for the globe, what, at what, at what, uh, at what? Well, they rate? say it, it, it. They they claim it, it, it spins at miles per hour. No. It's miles the per hour. They, they claim that, the yes. Earth spins at a thousand RPM. miles per hour. But but how? But what rate does your record player, your scratcher, spin? RPM. Okay. Things that rotate. The rotation is measured in RPM. Angular measurement per unit time. That's so objects, Earth, though. That's not... The, the Earth rotates at one RPB. Do you know that? But that's object. Objects rotate at RPMs, but not... Yes. Yeah, objects like the Earth not energy. and records. And records. And what is that? What is the unit of that energy? Like I said, energies, it, that's objects that we're getting to spend it. In, in what kind of units? All right. AT2's production says, let's get an analysis and proper reputation for why it's not what it's claimed. Uh, Hunter says, maybe Dion needs to do Red's CGI or not quiz. <laughs> oh, that would be... That would be a waste. I don't know what that is. What is not quiz? It's, it's a CGI or not. Quiz testing whether or not you can identify CGI. Oh, I could. Oh, believe me, I can identify it. If you take a look at all of NASA's photos, you could identify CGI. All right. You can identify CGI. Absolutely. If just all you gotta do is look at NASA's photos, it's all CGI. So you. So you said, but are you able to identify CGI? Like, are you, are you that good? No, but I know CGI when I see it. You do? Okay, so if you saw CGI... I would, I definitely could, I, I would... Let's see. Could somebody... I would know, for, without a, you know... Could somebody I think I could identify it pretty quickly. Can you send it to me on Discord? There it is. Okay. I got it. I got it. I forgot about Discord. I gotta get back on there. On what? On Discord? Uh, Alright. Ooh, we've got it here. I'm, I'm doing this. I'm doing this uh, on the fly here. All right, Dion, you're the expert. You know CGI better than anybody else, apparently. So is it CGI or a photograph? Oh, that's absolutely CGI. All right. Oops. Is this CGI or a photograph? That's a photograph. Okay, what about this one? Oh, that's CGI. And this one? That's a photograph. And this one? That's a photograph. How about this one? Oh, I, that's CGI. Okay. The little kitty cat here. That's a photograph. And Ashley? Oh my gosh, that's CGI. This one? That's a photograph. 
Uh, photo photograph. Uh, photograph. That's CGI, definitely. Alright. Let's see, here, Let's see how you did. Oh, yeah. 50%. Yeah, see? No, you said yeah. you could tell. And you only got. You didn't even get a passing grade at the end. I mean. But see, here's the thing. I, I was still able to tell half of what. Failed, dear. You failed. But here's the thing. You I got 50%. Pass. No, no. 50% is failing. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. Like, I ha like I got half of percentage right. No. You know what I mean? You, it, it, for, for, to be good at identifying CGI, you'd have to get 100%. But you only got 50. It's a terrible And by the way, yeah, by the way, these tests could be fabricated, too, by the way. Oh, sure, sure. Okay. Global Come on. Mom says says I am an AI. They call the Oracle. Did you know that, Global Mom? For three dollars and thirty three cents, half of your favorite number. Oh, she used the, uh, she used the, uh, she used the Freemason number. No. Three thirty three. She used the thirty three. But she didn't. She yeah, thirty-three. That's a Freemason. Three dollars and thirty-three cents is not thirty-three. Just, just not. Yeah, right. but it's it's right. in that vicinity. <laughs> that vicinity. Trigger News One says I could have sworn the Flat Earth programming language was B flat. Definitely B flat. Uh, Lord yeah, Luminous, but... Lord Luminous Pooh has an important question for you, Dion. If a triangle has sides one, one, and one, how many sides does the triangle have? Four. There are no, yeah, four. That's correct. Alyssum says, Dion, why do See? I have to account for Earth being a globe when I want what? to determine my flight distances? Why do I have to account for Earth being a globe when I determine my flight distances? Um, yes. I mean, that's the whole thing. You don't. You don't have to. Oh, you know more about determine uh, that. You know more about flight, uh, charting routes than I listen. When did you get your uh, private license for flying? I mean, I, I don't. I, I'm not a pilot, oh. but I, so I know how, you don't. How would you, a not pilot, know better than a pilot how pilots determine their flight distances? Remember, I mean, I don't, but I, you I, I are don't. A That's got nothing not to pilot. do with That's got nothing to do with the globe, though. It absolutely does. See, I, I don't. I disagree. You did all right. Then, then provide the evidence supporting your disagreement. If you're inside a dome, you're gonna take flight. You know, if, if you're flying, it's like you're 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 inside a dome. You're gonna fly from one destination to another destination. It's got nothing to do with flying. And how? Yeah, but you have to around you know this giant ball of spinning water. But but when you when you want to figure out how far it is, right? You want to find out how far you it just is from, use... from where you start and from where you land, so you know how much fuel to put in the plane. When Alyssum does that, Alyssum uses the globe to figure out that distance. So he says. I, I think they use other methods. I don't think they use the globe. Oh, then what method do they use? They just use simple navigation. I mean, you just, you know, you, you don't need to use a globe. You are embarrassing flat, flat, uh, flat earth. There it is. You don't what need to use, you, you just use basic navigation. What did you say about Stacy's mom? I didn't say anything about her mom. I don't know, I don't know any Stacy's. Well, you've never met somebody named Stacy? Tim Pryor says, I was sitting in the toilet one time 
and seen no poop, so no poop. <laughs> I think Tim. Yeah, man. Tim I think is, you. Uh, Tim has been. Um, <clears throat> got some delusion. Back delusion. He's been. He's been tipping them back. Yeah, he's got some uh, delusions of grandeur or something, you know. <laughs> yes. There it is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we got Obi Wan. <laughs> says, right, every delusional person thinks everyone else is crazy. That's why it's a delusion. I mean, I'm not cra- like I See, here's the thing. I'm not crazy. Like, I, I believe the truth. I, I disagree. Logic. It's got nothing to do with cr- crazy. I wholeheartedly disagree. Uh, let's see. Eight yards you know. is the answer. Hold on. Hold on. I did some math. I did some math when you were gone. I did some math. So here's the question, Dion. If you have, if I'm doing it from memory here, if you have a driveway that's 500 square feet, right? Yeah. And you want, and you want to um, make a uh, pour a, a an asphalt driveway over that 500 square feet, six inches deep. How many cubic yards do you need? Oh, you would need okay. So two hundred twenty-five times fifty. Two hundred twenty-five times eight to the square no, root. No, no. You would need probably. You would probably need about a thou like a thousand. Thousand. You'd probably need a thousand and one hundred twenty-five yards. Two hundred twenty-five times eight to the square root divided by six. Yeah. Well, actually. Yeah, you would need around yeah around there. I can't do the exact math in my head, but sure you can. All right, Stacy's mom is here. She says I may have it going on, but Stacy herself definitely takes a lot from her mom. There you go. Kind of like that song, Stacy's mom's got it going on. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah, I've heard that, and that's actually a, that's a good eighty song. I gotta figure. Um, yeah, who? I'm pretty sure it's not an '80s song. I gotta figure out. I that's actually a good song though. Oh jeez. <clears throat> um, is is people are wondering if Ashley inflated? Is she inflatable? Inflatable. Oh, you got as you don't wish that. Um, Tim Pryor says anti-human. That's all I have for now. So it says Tim Pryor is going to no longer be a human because Tim Pryor does not want to be associated with Slurfs through species. So is going to identify as something other than human. Close there. So, so Dion uh, Pilo fourteen oh eight is wondering. So, so weed is weed not a drug? Um, weed. Cause see, weed comes from an actual herb on the earth. So I don't. It, it is a drug, but it's it's um. You're not supposed to smoke weed, but supposed heroin to smoke. comes from it's, stuff. It's meant to be ingested. Oh my so god. So if you smoke weed, it's, it's absolutely a drug. But if you if you eat it like in, inside an edible, it's not a drug. Like that's how it's supposed to be consumed. Why? Why? Is Fuck. It... Because weed comes from an actual herb on the planet, like mushrooms. See, mushrooms, psych- psychedelics, they come so from this... plants on the earth. Dion, D- D- do you understand that there are mushrooms that if you eat them, you will no longer be living? Yeah. But I'm, yeah, but okay. I'm just saying that. If... Okay. So just because it's a brew doesn't mean it's okay. Right? Yeah, that's true. That's just, fair. Just got to be got to be people. Don't yeah, that, that, that's around. a fair point. Go, oh, look, there's a pretty colorful mushroom. I think Dion said it's okay. I don't think people are worried. I'm not too worried about people actually taking your advice. But Dion, 
don't take your own advice. How about that? But here's the thing. Weed is not a like weed is not a horrible herb to take. It's a herb. All right. Well, he says so. King Crew says Dion is proof so if you're gonna, that evolution. Yeah. Hold on, Dion is. You are proof that evolution can go in reverse. Wow. Nobel Prize is in the works. Oh, know. and that's another thing. Evolution. That's all BS. Um, and I'm sure that you could the depth of your. Your uh, refutation is the same. Obi Wan for Charles Tim, Darwin just... is so is, was... so uh, so mechanics are real because you know nothing, whereas you are smarter than all physicists, right? Dunning Kruger. I mean, but here's the thing: you got to see what the the physics are teaching. Are they teaching something that you can use, or are they teaching just some programming that? You're going in circles. Like, you can't use... Fi okay. You can use physics in certain things, but you're not going to use physics in everyday life. Okay. Unless you're building an atomic bomb or something like that, you're not going to use phys physics. Why not? You, you can... You, you, atomic bombs are, are not the only time that you can use physics. Yeah, but what else are you going to use it for? <laughs> All right. When, when you play a record on your scratcher, what speed do you spin it? Any scratcher? Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know that speed. So, I, so I, a record. I speed it medium. Record that's, medium. Yeah, a record that's like you know the the normal size record. What speed do you spin it at? I. At whatever speed I want, you know, whatever is yeah, comfortable what, to the record. Yeah, what's a common? What's a pretty common speed that you might spin a record at? Uh, probably a, a medium question. speed. It's not a trick question. Probably. There's a number. There's a number. What number? I, I don't know the number. Do, do you know? Do you not own a record player? I do. I I own a record player, a scratcher, or all that. Okay, and what speed does it usually go in RPM? I don't know the RPMs. It's that. It's that number right there. Thirty. Oh, of course, at thirty-three and one third. Of yeah, course. that's the speed that you play your records at. <laughs> wow. Oh man. Why do you play your record? Thirty-three like that? and one third. Of course, they uh, use that number. Are you? Are you? No, you use that number. You must be a mason. I didn't use that number. That whoever that. You use that number, because you play records. Oh my gosh! Why? Why are you part of the Illuminati Freemasons? Jesuits, Zionists. Why? Free. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I'm not a part of that. Hell no. Cor Corn Tech says, Dion, if the first image from space atop a V2 was in 1946 and the first transistor was in 1947, when did images from space become CGI? I would say probably within... Um Within the nineties, I probably within the nineties when they start becoming uh, the late nineties when they start becoming CGI. Before then, in the, in the forties, the fifties, they were just 60s, doing photography 70s, in studios. Eighties. Okay. Yeah, they were doing photography in studios. They were doing photography in studios. So you say, all right, just a claim. But as it as technology progressed, they started doing CGI to make it more believable but 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 it wasn't cgi before then you said it was in a right studio, because they were but but why would you say that you don't have it was any photography it. before that it was photography in a studio but like they filmed the moon landing in a studio but you don't have it you don't have evidence of that it's just a lie hey tim pryor says it's not a lie tim pryor says the moon the landings were morning. filmed in a studio a hollywood studio hollywood Ah, Tim Pryor says the last one, he said he was sitting on a plane and saw no curve, so no curve. I said I was sitting on the toilet and saw no poop, therefore no poop. Get it? I get it now. Yeah, but see, that's diff that's 
That's different, though. That's it's the that's same that's thing. a horrible comparison. <laughs> I think it's pretty pretty good. Yeah. That's I'm a horrible pretty, comparison. It's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Um, I mean, come on. All right. Oh my gosh, Tim Pry. Tim Tim has had way too much to drink. Tim Pry again says, if I want to get a lug nut off my car, physics can come into play. Don't you know that? I mean, sure. I mean, if that's what he believes. Is that Tim guy? I think he's a little drunk tonight. He's, what is his name? I, Tim Pryor? Tim Pryor. I think he's, I think you're correct. Yeah, he's, he's a little first drunk thing, tonight. First thing you've been correct about. Steve6464 for $2 says, if you born in 33, you'd be 45 in 78. 1933, be 45. Is that right? Okay, what's what's I got to do with? Uh, I think they're just common RPM numbers for records. So uh, they say, I mean, you know. <laughs> this is it. Can you blow a bubble? With the gum? What's that? So you, you, you've got gum. Right? Gum. In your mouth. Yeah. Gum. And yeah. you're drinking beer. And you're drinking beer? Right. Yuck. Yuck. Hey, uh, Manabrat says, wondering, do you know what total harmonic distortion is? Harmonic distortion. Um, total, I don't. Total harmonic. Distortion. Total harmonic distortion. I don't know. Uh, all right, I'm going to. I'm gonna review. I'm gonna make sure I didn't miss anything. There's a lot of them. Hold on. You got a lot of super chats in here. Oh, and by the way, to those who think my fiance or Ashley is fake, just take a look at this uh, profile pic. Ooh, I covered it up. We don't want to see this. <laughs> yeah, see, that's. We don't want to. So see just that. saying, that's not a fake. I know everyone say, "Oh, she's fake and all that," you know, like. I, I don't. I don't know why you'd want to show that. Please, please don't show that. Did you, did you stop showing it? Showing what? We don't want to see that. All right. I don't know how to change the... Uh... Well, yes, you do. The, uh, Bill, who is that, Bill McGuire? Gum and beer, he's saying. He doesn't think that gum and beer would taste good. And we Take a look at this, uh, profile. Uh, all right. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to review, I'm going to make sure I didn't miss anything. Then please take a look for yourself. You got a lot of super chats in here. Oh, and by the way, to those who think my fiance or Ashley is fake, just take a look at this uh, profile pic. Mm, I covered it up. We don't want to see that. <laughs> yeah, see, that's. We don't want to. So see just that. saying, that's not a fake. I know everyone say, "Oh, she's fake and all that," you know, like. I, I don't. I don't know why you'd want to show that. Please, please don't show that. Uh, did, you, did you stop showing it? Showing what? And we don't want to see that. Right. I don't know how to change the... Uh... Well, yes, you do. 
the uh, Bill, who is that, Bill McGuire? Gum and beer, he's saying. He doesn't think that gum and beer would taste good. I, I don't think beer tastes good at all. Thank you for not showing that anymore. We didn't want to. I mean, it was, it was, uh, I mean, I, I, it was just a profile pic, but it's just me and my fiance, you know? All right. Um, but we don't want to see it. It's no nudity or anything like that. Yeah, but we don't want to see it. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm reviewing things here, pe people. You, Dion. Not going to be scientific for no science. Um, how does the transmission work? Why do you think God didn't create a globe in the solar system? Edgar Allan who? Edgar Allan who? There you go. Uh, the laser and I'm not a pole, by the way. Whatever that means. So what are all those VHS tapes on the, the the shelf behind you? Those are uh those are disc. Classic classic disc. Classic disc. Are they vinyl? No, <laughs> oh, those are the disc. I, I gotta show you I have a uh, I have a separate vinyl for my vinyls, but these are just discs. This right here. What what other vinyls do you have? Oh, I have Michael Jackson, Prince, uh, yeah, are, Def Leppard. Are they in the room? Are they in the same room with you? Could you just like grab one quick? They're not in this room. No, they're in my storage. Where, where's your storage? In the the basement. The attic. Yeah. The attic. Which yeah, I can't attic? keep like. What? Which which attic? How? Like the, the only attic I have. Whose house is this? I My house. And, My house. And, and where is Ashley? She is out and about with her sister right now. Is her, is her sister, um, Stacy? <laughs> yeah, Stacy, yeah. If you, if you dig far enough, if you dig south far enough, where do you end up? You, That's a good question. I mean, you would probably, you probably end up in a. Uh, you dig south. Probably in, in Alaska, depending on what part of America you were in, you probably end up in, in Alaska. If you dig south. Yes. All right. Um. All right. So. One more here about about leverage. Have you seen the TV show Leverage? I have not. All right, Tim Breyer, who somehow, despite having drunk gallons and gallons of pure vodka, is able to type. Apparently, he has not heard of Leverage, which consists of physics. Yes, Leverage is made out of physics. Have you heard of that? I mean, like I said, we're energy, you know, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, so <laughs> Renee Enemy says storing LPs in, a, in the attic is a very bad idea. <clears throat> Who said that, uh, that? Tim Pryor? Tim Pryor said that? No, I, just because Tim Pryor. <laughs> Why is that a bad idea? I mean, it keeps the, the, the vinyl safe. It keeps them a bit hot. Vinyl gets a little... Uh, it doesn't like the heat. It like it uh, warped in an attic. I mean, if they're in a box, they, they're fine. I have them in the boxes. I had... Um, I had I had a record that, that sat in the sun. Just in the sun, in the room. Just That was it, and it got wavy. Yeah, you can't you can't keep it in the sun. Yeah, it'd be ruined. Oh, uh, Mark Cernan is a good question. Um, 
Uh, <laughs> Who is that, Nate from... Who said that? I have all my marbles left. What? Why does he keep pretending to drink out of an empty can? Um, it's not empty. Yeah. Heat can't go through boxes. Duh. Because boxes are heat proof. Well, here's the thing. I don't have windows in my attic, so, I mean, they're, they're fine. There's no, there's no heat's going to get through those. Fire can't go through doors. They're not ghosts. Hunter says I store my vinyls in the vinyl store where they belong and use music apps like God Emperor intended. Well, I mean, but here's the thing: like, All right. see, if he knew anything about music, he would know that the sound in a scratcher, the sound sounds different. All right, I can't. What does that say? Uh, you're gonna Make have to point. Wife, I must ask this, Dion. What is the scientific definition of energy? You're gonna have to point over on that side because I can't point on your side. I need you to help me point. I don't know the scientific definition off offhand, but I'll just I'll just do it all the way across. This way. What's the scientific definition of energy? I mean, you I don't know what word for word. You're talking about. Like I said, I don't know it offhand, but like I said, I have no idea, you know. Hung Sing Kwan. Oh, uh, no, Tim not Pryor. that guy again. All right, Tim Pryor. Oh, my gosh, that's it. I'm suing you for alcohol poisoning. I did prove I cannot drink myself this dumb. Dion, he tried. He tried and failed. To drink this dumb. Yeah, Hong Sing Kwan, that's that's a uh, weird guy. Uh, his accent just jumps out and slaps me. Um, all right, well, Dion, th this has been you. You presented absolutely nothing and had an awful lot of denial. Absolutely nothing. Yes. Wow didn't explain hey anything. that's your opinion that's your opinion um, but it is it was great being on the show yeah how, how about this i'll do a quick survey did dn explain anything yeah that hunk sing kwan guy he fa he practices fake kung fu sure sure all right um dion you need to get your other hard drive and get those maps. Everybody. Yeah, I just I didn't maps. have a lot of time this week to get them out, so right, I'm gonna get them out within the next your, couple of weeks and uh. Take your time, and, and then when you get them, let me know. Um. Because I, I I really people want to know about these maps. Yeah, they. Yeah. I feel like people need to know too. You know what I mean? They people need to know yeah, the I truth. Mean, they they really want to know whether or not this is the correct map of Blurtopia. Right? Or maybe this is it. Right? We just, we, we want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. So, all right. Oh, so I'm going to get those out, the, the hard drive, and then we can go from there. There you go. We can, I got, I've got other, uh, we've got options here for a layout. Okay, Dion, well, Yes, we need another good laugh. So, so try to find, try to find those maps, and then, and then we'll, um, we'll, uh, we'll, I don't know, come back on again, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I feel like people need to know those maps and really see what the Earth is. You know, like not this giant ball spinning water, and you know, uh, yeah. Your accent, your accent's getting notched up here, so. I think that's a good sign to, to, to wrap up. Don't don't hang up, Dion. Just stick on for a minute. But everybody, thank you very okay. much. Um, uh, 
Dion, Dion did, uh, I mean, did, did he bring anything that we thought that he did not bring? He brought I only brought the truth. I only brought the truth. That's he all I have a whole to bring. Lot of, he brought a whole lot of something. Um, and I'm going to end the survey here. We're going to see end poll. Smoke's monochrome arts, my expression of the martial art, and yeah, thanks for having me on. You know. All right. Did Dion explain anything? Ninety-seven percent say no. Two percent say yes, and one percent are unaccounted for. So thank you, wow. everybody. Uh, we'll see you. On, uh, check out my my um, MC my conspiracy tunes channel. I've got a video going a, a, a short for tomorrow on perspective and. Sun's in sun in the clouds, third in three. And then I got uh, an announcement on the cold moonlight experiment that's coming up September 10th. So be looking for them, everybody. We'll see you later. All the mics had off there. The moon is a fascinating object and I've seen countless conspiracy theories revolving around it here on Tinfoil Tuesday, but I found a new one, that the moon is an alien spaceship. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tinfoil Tuesday with me, Simon and Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Right, back to today's video where we're taking a look at a recent interview with Ben from Uncharted X. He's talking about the moon and it gets very weird very quickly and he gets a lot wrong. Here we go. That's one of the weird things about the moon. There's many, 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 many strange things about the moon. One of them is that it is both 400 times smaller than the sun and 400 times closer than it so that when we have these eclipses, they're exactly the same size in the sky from Earth. That's insane. It is insane. Make no mistake, this is full Dunning-Kruger in action here, everyone. It's not 400. It's much, yes, much, much, much smaller. Sizes ...in the sky, but they're not always exact. Due to our elliptical orbit around the sun and the moon's elliptical orbit around us, they are almost always slightly different sizes. This is their relative sizes right now. And this is their average sizes throughout the year. I mean, you just need to look at an annular eclipse to understand that. 
It's just pure cosmic coincidence that it's happening now in our lifetime. A few million years ago, it'll have been different. A few million years from now, it will also be different. Yet this guy thinks he's discovered something truly amazing. There, there's a lot of insanity about the moon. Uh, if people are interested, I can recommend a book called Who Built the Moon? Oh my days, that tells me all you need to know. I'm actually gonna buy that book and debunk the living hell out of it. Who Built the Moon? Who Built the Moon, wonderful book. And it, it sort of gets into a lot of the anomalies about the moon. And it's one people don't realize it's, it's like very unique. We've never, ever, ever observed another sort of planet moon relationship like we have with our moon. And mm. the fact of the matter is life wouldn't exist on this planet without the moon there. Okay, this one is not absolute. There is no evidence to suggest that life would not have occurred without the moon. I mean, it may not have, but we can't be 100% sure. Uh, without the moon creating intertidal zones. There's, right. there's all sorts of anomalies about the moon itself. It's, you know, it's 25% the size of the Earth, but about, I think, 4 or 5% its mass. Our survey said... <coughs> nope, 1.2% of our mass. So it's vastly lighter and yet stronger at the same time too there's a really strange yes stronger it's stronger yeah so it's like it should be deforming at, at, a, at a different rate based on its density and the gravitational pull that's exerted on it by the planet well i don't know about that but tidal forces are pushing the moon away at a rate of around four centimeters per year in fact there's all these gravitational anomalies on the moon we've detected like gra different levels of gravity um in different places on the moon but what's what is interesting about the moon is that because there's no atmosphere we can see the craters that are on it right and some of the craters are massive like they're like 400 kilometers across right but they only ever go to a certain depth they only ever go like i think it's a couple of kilometers deep like that it's like our survey said <coughs> wrong again there are several craters with a depth of around five kilometers on the moon and the deepest crater the south pole aitken basin is around 13 kilometers deep we know the, the the mechanics of like crater um, dynamics, right? Yeah. So we can see this on on the Earth and on other other planets when stuff hits and it's bigger, it's going to go deeper. On the Moon, everything stops at this one uniform depth, no matter how big the crater is. That is a blatant lie. For starters, the depth and type of crater very much depends on the impactor and the angle of the impact. And taking three prominent craters on the Moon, Tycho. Copernicus and Aristarchus, their diameters and depths are as follows. Tycho is 85 kilometers across and 4.8 kilometers deep. Copernicus, 93 kilometers across, 3.8 kilometers deep. And Aristarchus, 41 kilometers across and three kilometers deep. As you can see, a wide range of diameters and depths. It's as if it's like this, there's this softer material on top for a couple of kilometers and then it's some hard shell. Or you're mistaking about something and then you've come up with a ridiculous hypothesis that it just bounces off and it just, do nothing penetrates, I think it's like two or three kilometers or something. But there's this really interesting study on the crater depths, no matter the size of the crater, it only ever goes in so deep. As I said, Dunning-Kruger. Gets it pretty really like is. tinfoil hat, but. It, well, it does, but there's no good explanation for how the moon got there. Like it's very unique. We don't, the, the mainstream explanation for how the moon got there is very suspect and, and is admittedly very suspect by the people that even come up with it. Like they're really? like, eh, this is kind of the way we think it kind of comes. Yeah, it's the double big whack theory. The double big whack theory? Don't think I've ever heard of that one. I mean, I've heard of the giant impact hypothesis, but the double whack theory? Go on then. Yeah, I think I'll just explain it to you. Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. it's this idea that because the moon is so lightweight and less dense, it's only like, it's like surface material from planet Earth is what must, might, what it's formed of is what they think. No, we don't. The giant impact hypothesis is the idea that a Mars-sized planet smashed into the Earth four and a half billion years ago. It would have been a little more than some surface material that ended up as the moon. So, you know, something splattered into a primordial Earth hard enough, like a protoplanet or something hit us, to take off this huge amount of mass, like, well, volume of mass, not, not specifically mass, but only surface mass, like not because the, people don't realise, like, Earth is iron. Like we, we are we are forty I think the most abundant element on the planet is iron. It's like forty seven percent iron. Like we are we are we are a hard rock in space. Like our survey said <coughs> Bloody hell. The most abundant element on Earth is oxygen, forty six percent. Iron is only fourth on that list at five point six percent. However, if we take only mass into account, then you're still wrong. Iron is thirty two percent of the Earth's mass, not forty five. The surface stuff, not so much. There's not that much, not as much iron out here. But 
obviously the moon's not made of iron. So Well, the moon does have an iron-rich core and there's iron in the crust as well. So something hits the Earth really hard, takes that much material out into an orbit around the planet and eventually it, co it, it correlates and, co and sort of forms the moon as it is, but that impact into Earth would have left it spinning at a high rate. Well, estimates have put the length of Earth's day after this collision to between two and five hours. Mm -hmm. uh, such that it needed another impact from exactly the right direction and exactly the right speed hitting the Earth at exactly the right point to slow it down to our current rotational speed and, and dynamics. So. What? I've never, ever heard of that theory. The moon is responsible for slowing our rotation due to the tidal forces causing friction that slows the Earth's spin. However, angular momentum must be conserved and this energy makes its way to the moon, speeding it up slightly, which causes it to move slightly further away from Earth in its orbit, hence the four centimetres per year I mentioned earlier. It's, it's what they call the double big whack theory. Oh, double big whack theory. <laughs> yeah, so two big whacks into the Earth is, is how they, they, they approximate, billions of years ago, of course, that, that this somehow happened. Um, and it's not a very strong, like, people are like, eh, the probability is super, super low for that possibility to happen. There's, they don't really know. This, the, most of the people that dig into the moon get to the point where, like, just scratching their head going, we don't really know how it got here. Literally no one subscribes to the double big whack theory. The giant impact hypothesis is supported by incredibly good chemical evidence regarding different isotopes in the moon rocks that we have recovered. It's as simple as that. But if you were to design a system to support life, if you were to create an environment to support life, then it's pretty perfect. Like you, you don't, it doesn't get any more perfect almost. Like we need the moon. We need the Earth in the specific location it is. We need the tilt of the Earth to give mm. us that seasonality. The Moon gives us those intertidal zones with its, with its gravity, and, and those are the areas on the planet where life first emerged.
Schafft ihr heute noch großes Fliegen, oh what? Schafft ihr großes Fliegen? Habt ihr gebraucht? Und hallo Shade und Abel und Tidi, vielen lieben Dank für den Raid. Und hallo Samson und Anders und hallo Fox hier. Ich grüße und hallo Vivan. Und es werde bestimmt nicht hervorragend. Ihr hattet viel Spaß und habt selten vielleicht Beta gekriegt. Am Sonntag habt ihr die Möglichkeit, bei Tidi Beta Keys zu gewinnen. Ja? Nein, bei Azura. Ich grüße auf jeden Fall allen, die dort sind. wird ein Psi für Dicker verlost, ein Psi noch der auf Dicker verlost wird. Ah, aber so läuft das also. Die anderen drei sind schon raus. Ich könnte als Zornkönigin Tollboy hier einbekommen. Ne? So, Drag die Mama einmal kurz Marxen. Dankeschön. Und jetzt hier einfach alles annehmen, oh what? Der Quest Helper ist denn das? Das ist ein Addon. Und das bei WW. Äh, kann man das bei Uber lernen? Ah, okay, das geht nicht. Wer uns top informiert, merkt schon, ne? Ich Draki hat schon angefangen, ich laufe hinterher, ich bin der Heiler. Ich habe gerade Werben bekommen für den Discord. Do you need me? I write your name on my boobs of Or, ähm, Katze für Dollars Fragezeichen und dann ist da der Link von ähm, dem Discord geblockt. Danke, Draki. Wie geblockt, was soll das denn? Ich hab, schon, ich hab schon merkwürdige Werbung bekommen, ne? Ja, das steht alles. <lacht> Wir fehlen ja noch. Alle, alle zehn. Guck mal, wie schnell das geht. Guck mal, wie schnell das geht. Zap, einmal zap, zap, Der Traum jedes Mannes, die nah auf den Bubis der Frau zu haben oder auf der Katze. Also weibliches, weibliches Synonym für Katze. Farewell. 
Nee, 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 nee. Wie ist der Discord? Frage zum Freund. Mango-Magazine. Mango Wo ist der Discord so? Mango Magazine 1. Ich keine Quests mehr, ne? Nee. Immer grün folgen. Grün folgen. Mango Magazine 1, genau, das war das Sauer, ne? Natürlich nicht, sonst würde ich jetzt hier den Server wieder schneiden. Hast du noch die Quest bei... Da wo ihr seid, ist ein Hyperspawn. Diese Waller von den Pillern, da könnt ihr super Gold farmen. Und Halle Raven Ghost und Halle Esquire. Vielen Dank für die 29. Ich warte jetzt noch auf die PPR, nur für das Großwetten bin. Ah, ich sehe den da vorne, ne? Komm mal kurz, Raki, bist du da? Ping? Hier ist ein Hyperspawn-Punkt. Das spawnen halt super viele von diesen Warlords. Die sollen mal richtig viel Kohlen machen. Ja, ich kann ja jetzt nicht verzecken, ne? Aber die gehen auch 
Motorsport. Aztán itt van Hard Ballad, ennyit a sok. Ist das Schaden? Ist das schöne Waffe? Kiwi-Saft. Habt ihr schon mal gesehen, wie Leute im Internet Kiwi, wie viele Variationen es gibt, um Kiwi zu essen? Mit Schale, die beißt noch rein, als sei es so eine Kartoffel. Ey, was sagt sie? Avocado. 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 Sage nein, bleibe ich da nicht. Metridon. Weißt du, was du für die Ohrmacht Diabetes kriegst, wenn du Wald machst? Ja. Durst ist... Ja, ja, ja. Durstlöscher, Waldmeistergeschmack. Lol, ich habe keinen freien Abonnement mehr bei dir, kann aber auch nichts mit Prime abonnieren. Ich habe keinen freien Abonnement, kann aber auch nichts. Hast du woanders reingebuttert? Hast du dir wieder hier deinen Namen auf irgendwelche Dinge schreiben lassen? Erwischt dann dann. Erwischt. Heißt das Hotspot? Warum muss ich noch ein bisschen warten? Ja. Er trinkt das. Ich glaube, gottlos Mensch. Durstlöscher ist auch gut. Äh, hat, glaube ich, genauso viel Zucker wie Cola. Aber es löscht schon Durst. Für 5 Minuten. Und dann auf so wenigen Zucker noch mehr Durst. Aber it is what it is. Das ist auch super, ne? Hab keinen Bock mit, mit, äh, mit Zitrus Demenz zu trinken. Gibt es den Fala Fala? Und wer bekommt's? Nun weiß er schon nicht mehr, dass er je 14 als der 40 ist. Hallo Julius. Hallo. Hey 
Geld kann man hier machen, wenn man sich den Namen auf dem Busen schreibt, verloren. Wie das macht. Wir kriegen hier noch die Mütze drin. Hast du noch? Müssen wir hier noch kurz. Kram. Hier ist auch noch einer. Aufmauten im Wasser. Neu, neu, neu. Du kriegst ein, dann kriegst du ein Sohn. Ihr seid aber groß. Die Milch. Dankeschön. Gib mal, gib mal, gib mal. Bei mir ist gerade einer gespawnt. Die Fläche über musste nur, musste nur töten. Dimitri Don, ich bin mal im Lurk das Essen vorbereiten, was ziemlich geil ist. Ich habe schon richtig geilen Chili eingesetzt. Ich bin 
Chilischoten. Ich muss eigentlich überall reinmachen. Aber das bekommt ihr trotzdem einfach. Also Chili-Pulver habe ich gesehen. Chiladas für den kleinen Gefilmen vor der Nüsse und so ein Chili zum Farben. Kannst du ein Foto machen davon? Ich habe vor, ich habe glaube ich einen Reiter mit Essen. Da hat aber noch nie jemand was reingetan. Oder können die alle nicht kochen? Also die wissen es nicht. Es gibt einer, der sein Essen nicht fotografiert. Echt nicht so einer, der sein Essen nicht fotografiert? Der Influencer. Ich müsste mein Essen fotografieren. Ich müsste sogar, meine, ich müsste sogar mein Essen, wenn ich es verdaut habe, fotografieren. Es geht ja nicht ums Essen für sich, es geht um die Botschaft, die man liefern will. Genau, genau so. Die kenne ich nicht, aber es macht Sinn. Ich für das Foto den Discord beigefügt, hier ist das Kino nicht zu finden. Aber es gibt gar keinen Besucher, oder? Überhaupt gegankt, WoW? Und hallo, Beauty, ich grüße. Die Beauty hast du nachher Bock irgendwie ein bisschen bei alter Welt abzuklappern? Bitte, Schnitte. Ich bin Dial. Warum? Ist doch auch voll. Ich weiß nicht, wie du da rauskommst. Dracki? <lacht> so Bogen? Bogen nicht drin. Ah ja, ja gut, da eigentlich brauchen wir ja gar nichts drauf, ne? Hier, aber da kommt wirklich Sonnen drum zum Bogen. Was braucht man denn für so ein Brummplateau? Ja, aber wir sind ja mittlerweile... Ich hab da alles, ich hab hier nichts verschwinden. Und hallo Alex!
Eine Milch, die deinen Namen trägt. Hoch von Milch, 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 Danach Schweine töten oder what? Wir müssen hier noch Tage des Kommandanten der kein Mob. Ach so, wo kommen wir? Eine Bubble gehabt.
Ach, ihr seid drei. Ich dachte zu zweit. Werde ja, Icy. Amon, vielen Dank. Drei Seiten, ne? Irgendwie. Moin, auf welchen Server zockt ihr? Wir sind auf den Nocturne. Wenn man oben den Teamtitel ernehmen kann. Nur Hallo Chris. Schweine? Menno. Das ist Eimann Menno. Äh, 
Scheiße bist du. Moli, Moli. Oder Potschmoss. Ja, richtig. Werbung ist aber ziemlich räudig. So, hm. Ehrlich, ne? Der Virus wird noch nie Dinge. Tippe ich auf neuen Werbung. Aber schön hier so Sachen, die sich auf null tangieren. Kann ich nur nicht wirken. Kann ich noch nicht fassen. War doch wohl Sudan, ne? Guck, wie Sudan hier noch aussah. Die ganz guten ähm Die ganz guten Texturen. Ich denn über den Charge ab? Immer Ecke. Ich das so mit Fallen. Der letzte, letzte Fallen. Das nehmen wir doch mit. So, Fesch, müssen wir links runter, ne? Ich ziehe die mal zusammen zu so den da hinten. Hast du bist schon auf dem Weg zu dem? Warte, ich 
Kurz füttern. Würde ich mal so die Mengen oder was? Und hallo Erzi. Diese Frau aus Smacknach. Wart mal zu. Liebstöckel. Liebstöckel. Bist du rufe am Farben nein, nein, bekräftigt zu Gold. mir die Schatten und Farbe, um sie zu Gold zu machen.
Bye. <laughs>
No!
you're free.